The UW Information School pushes boundaries with our research. We respond to significant real-world challenges, making a difference in people's lives, and offering critical contributions to knowledge and practice. Once a year, we celebrate our vibrant research community. The research opportunities at the iSchool are really diverse. You really are able to match the questions you want to ask with the methods you want to use and the faculty who can help you. For my research, it's always easy to get students' interest because it's about games. Who doesn't like games? We actually joined over 200 online communities and we monitor those communities to collect... Well, I'm part of the gamer group, which we study games, information, behavior here at the iSchool. The very popular game Pokemon Go is a great example of an augmented reality game. It's relatively new. We want to know how this kind of game is going to impact people's lives. Really complex information sharing communities have emerged. We're trying to study how information is shared and how these, these communities ask questions and how they crowdsource answers and it's been pretty fascinating. So last summer I was part of a team of um, different professors in the LIS program looking to develop a design course for the graduate LIS program and this hadn't been done before really providing LIS students with really cutting-edge um, techniques and skills and um, thinking about the field of librarianship in a whole new way. The students are everything. They're, they're the engines of research. They're the ones with the ideas. They're the ones who are doing most of the work. My project is looking at freshman attrition at University of Washington. Uh, traditionally throughout the United States, a large number of freshmen tend to drop out within their first year. And sometimes it's for, for things that you know, could, could be easily rectified. So we're trying to use a machine learning methods and statistics to try to come up with ways of predicting when a student will drop out. Lavi came to me and was interested in working on this project. A lot of these projects we have in the data lab are just projects that are sort of, they come into the heads of the students and they come to us and we said, sure, that's, let's work on that, that seems fun. The problem is Sometimes an idea comes from a personal experience that reveals a community need. In the second year of my PhD program, I had Hodgkin's lymphoma myself, um, and I went through eight months of treatment. And during that time, I thought the information resources that I had to use as a young adult cancer survivor um, were very difficult. So my project is actually an interview-based study. I do community health-based work, and my community of choice is young adult cancer survivors. And I talk to these survivors about their coping skills, how they used online forums to connect with one another and find peers, and exchange information about things like treatment and survivorship issues. In my work, I depend crucially on PhD students. I work very closely with them, really as peers in the research process. My project with Abdullah Ali is looking at how we can use the crowd, which are masses of online users, to better design uh, just about anything, really. And we're building a platform to enable this called Crowdlicit. So we can, uh, we can get from the crowd a, uh, a large amount of uh, inter different interactions and then have the crowd themselves uh, using their human intelligence to uh, figure out which is the best interaction to uh, design for a new technology. I'm interested in how publics use technologies on uh, social media to talk about important political issues. So uh, I needed some method to understand that diverse stakeholders. So I'm presenting uh, a design method called stakeholder tokens. And this is a stakeholder analysis uh, method to understand uh, who are the important stakeholders and what are the important values for those stakeholders so that we can design. The iSchool makes information work. Research projects offer opportunities to make it work even better. The iSchool presents a breadth of opportunities in terms of the amount of research that's going on, the types of research that are going on. It all ties into this theme of information and how it can be used. As a PhD student, I do feel the freedom to choose whatever I want to study. Like I feel um, it's okay to just knock on a professor's door to just say, hey, I want to discuss some research questions with you. It's very exciting because we have a very like uh, multidisciplinary uh, community here. Um, so there is a lot of collaboration. I love the iSchool. I, yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun um, and I, I feel very lucky to be here. I've been having the best year of my life so far.